Hello everyone, I'm here today with the first process video for my New York March 2023 album. And you can see I have it laying here. This is a life crafted album. So it will fit three by eight, four by eight. That's pretty much it and smaller obviously, but not much larger than that. So I have that picked out and I love this sort of salmon or coral color. It actually appears in quite a few photos that I took and so that's why I decided to go with this color. That's also why I picked this for my opening page. I loved the look of it anyway with the little plane wing, looking through the clouds and all of that, but then the color also worked. So I'm gonna put the album aside here just wanted you to see what I was using. And then this is what I'm going to put together today. And I do already have a bin, as I always do, of stuff related to New York City. So I will go through that first and see, is there anything I wanna do here? I haven't decided how I wanna do the dates, if I want the specific dates, or if I just wanted to say March 23. I'm not sure yet, so I'll figure that out as well. I haven't figured out what to do with the dates yet, but I think I have figured out sort of my a title thing I'm going to do. I pulled out some of my New York stamp sets, and I have this one, which is actually brand new. It's from Paper Person. I haven't even used it yet. I think I want to do this one that says Arrived, New York City, and I think I want to put it right there because the curve of the stamp fits nicely with the curve of what I assume is the sun peeking out from the clouds here. And then that lets you know, oh, it was an NYC trip. It's even got a little plane on it. So I can do that there. And then maybe down here somewhere, I can do the dates to spread them out. But I think I'm going to start with that. Okay, I stamped that and it came out perfectly. I love how that looks. So now I just have to figure out what am I doing for dates? Do I want any other type of embellishments? I'm not sure. So that will be next. I've been looking at some different alphas here. This is not for the main title, but it comes with all these extra little dashes here, which I need. If I'm going to say like March 19th through blah, 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 then I would need one of those, so I have them. And I'm looking at these two different alphas. They're both by Kelly Perky. This is quite a bit larger, like twice the size, I think, but I could, just fit in like along the bottom March you know comma or apostrophe 23 maybe call it good at that but I also like these that they're a white and then a black font this is actually more cream I realized but it would help it jump out more I'm just not sure if I should do that or just stick with all black because this is black and they'll go together. So I need to think about that a little bit more before I make my decision. And I do want to show, I also had these, but I just feel like it's way, way too dark with a black background. And I didn't like this sort of gold color. Pale yellow, whatever you want to call that. Off-white, I don't know. It just, it feels wrong on here. And the boxy style just feels wrong with this, so... I kind of just got rid of those right away. So really it's down to these two. I started putting on the letters just part way to see how I felt about it, if I liked it or not. And I think I do. I was a little worried they would be too big and bold, but I like it with this. So I will finish out doing the C and the H and then underneath, I think I'm just gonna do the apostrophe 23. And then I think I want to do some splattering. I think I have this color of mist. I'm almost positive. I need to check that if it's still good, if I still have it. But if so, I will probably do a little bit of inking just to bring in some more of that color up here because while I love the stamping, I kind of lost that. It's very pale anyway, and this kind of took it over. And so I feel like maybe I need a little more up here. All right, so I have that part done. Now I just need to peel off one of these <laughs> tiny little apostrophe type things. Let's see, it's already stuck on my nail. Can I just do this and cheat a little? Maybe, how does that look? That's not bad actually. 
I think I'm going to leave it. So there we go. So we have March 23. I did not measure this. I just really eyeballed it. I figured as long as it was kind of under the C, kind of under the A, it would be okay in terms of centering. And it looks okay to me, so I'm going to leave it. So here's the mist that I'm planning to use. It's Glimmer Mist by Tattered Angels. I've had these forever. I have these in a bunch of colors, but they still work. And this one is probably about half gone, but still lasting forever. It's been years and years. So totally worth the money. And the color on this one is called Golden Terracotta. And it's pretty darn close. Now I am going to do it on a test sheet just to be sure because I haven't used this one in a while. I just want to be sure it actually looks like that when it comes out. All right, so I have my test sheet. You know what? I did shake it up a little, but not a not a huge amount. Let's shake some more, just to be sure. There we go. Okay. Because it is glittery. We want it to mix up very well. All right. So I'll let that sit for a minute until it dries just a little so I can see the shimmer effect. And does the color stay true to what it looks like on the bottle? All right, so this section here is definitely dry, and hopefully you can see, I think it is a pretty good color match. It's a little bit darker, but I think that's okay because this background has some darker elements, and I want to make sure it's going to show up. So I am going to try it here, and I think I'm just going to get a scratch piece of paper to cover up this area down here, and maybe a little bit of that, so that the ink doesn't get anywhere I don't want it to be. Okay, I've covered up the spots that I don't want to get any ink, just in case. I'm mainly going to do it up here, I think. Maybe a little in this corner, if I can get it positioned correctly. <laughs> there we go. Maybe that's enough. I did get a couple glops right there, which is fine. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Then I'll remove the papers and I'll see, am I happy with the way it looks or not? All right, here it is after it has dried. And I toyed with the idea for a minute of outlining this in black, just with a very, very thin black line to bring out some of that. But then I worried, what if I do it and it's too much and I don't like it? So I figured I'll leave it. If I sit with it for a while in the album and decide, you know what, it feels flat, I want to add that, I can always go back and do it. But I don't want to do it now and then regret it. So for now, I think this is this one is done. So here is my first page finished for New York. Thanks for watching.